everyone. This is Sledhead, and I'm coming at you with my shade of the day. Today it's uh, March 14th, 2020. And I did want to say uh, thanks for joining me for the shave. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm not doing too bad here. It's just a uh, Saturday afternoon. I figured it my head shaved. I got about mm, maybe three days worth of growth. We're going to go be going out tonight, so I just want to get, uh, you know, kind of ready. Okay, so to get uh, started with the shave, I just want to go through some of the equipment they'll be using for the shave here. So on the hardware side, uh, the razor I'm going to be using, uh, this is what I mentioned this in my last video. This is a gem shovel head. I won this from a giveaway that Angelo Americo did. He's also known as Wet Shaving with Angelo on YouTube. He uh, had a giveaway on Facebook and I won this. Uh, but yeah, I like this. I've used it uh, once before and I think it worked out pretty well here. So this is just what it looks like. Yeah, to open this little latch in the back here, just push up, pops up. There's your blade. Just make sure it's uh, aligned good. Looks fine to me. Just snap it shut. There we go. So there's the razor. Uh, the brush I'm going to be using today is a boar hair brush. It's from 999 Shaving and Etsy. My uh, fiance got this for me for Christmas. So I'll be uh, using this again here. Been just kind of, you know, using this a little bit. Uh, not a big boar hair user, but I figured I'd. You know, kind of stick with it. I've used it a handful of times, and it seems to work out okay. So there's the brush there. <clears throat> the uh, software side, the soap and aftershave I'm going to be using. Uh, this is from when Sterling had their Black Friday sale. I picked this up, as well as the matching uh, cologne. It's Sterling uh, Suka. So this, so there's the soap. Here's the aftershave, just like a, what is this, a two ounce aftershave, and this is a three ounce soap. But the scent on Suka is based on Hany Mori uh, cologne. And the notes in the cologne are amber, citrus, tonka, vanilla, iris, lavender, cedar, uh, lily of the valley, chocolate, rose, jasmine, and moss. <clears throat> I haven't smelled the the cologne it's based on, but uh, this smells really nice. I actually haven't used this yet. So that's what it's looked like here. It's uh, fairly firm. It, you can move, you can press into it, but you gotta, it's not like a cream or anything. If you ever tried Sterling, you kind of know what they're about. But yeah, it smells really, I like it. It smells really good. <clears throat> and uh, the aftershave here. Yeah, it smells nice too. I'm sure it'll smell better. Give it a shake. I'm sure it smells better when it's uh, on the skin. Okay, so that's some of the hardware and the software we'll be using for the shave. So we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock the shave out. Okay, so first I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush here. Shake it out. Go into the soap here, load up the brush. Okay, and I think that'll be good. If I need to go back to the puck, I can always do that. Let's put a little more water here and uh, bring it to the head. <clears throat> yeah, this brush seems to work okay. Hopefully it won't lose uh, many more hairs. It has lost some, so... There's one thing that I can say about it. It has lost hairs. I don't know, uh, <clears throat> you know, when to expect the boar hair brushes to stop that, but hopefully, you know, sometime soon. <clears throat> yep, so, uh, Last video I was saying I was pretty excited. Uh, we had the Northeast Wet Shavers Meetup, the fifth annual. 
coming up here on the 28th. But unfortunately, that was postponed due to coronavirus. <clears throat> so I had to cancel my Airbnb. Luckily, I only lost about $10. So it definitely stinks, but it is what it is, I suppose. I guess I'm going to probably stick with this here. Seems to be good. first pass with the grain here yeah so definitely disappointed I was really looking forward to going my fiance was like hey maybe we should just uh go anyway but that at that point I already had the reservation canceled so that kind of stopped that but hopefully it uh <clears throat> falls on a weekend where I don't have anything going on because I am getting married here in June, mid-June, so who knows, you know, if it's in April or May, I might not have that, that weekend available, so that would really stink if I didn't, because I definitely want to go, and I'm liking this razor, it feels a little more aggressive than the uh, bullet tip. I don't know if that's just me, but I don't know. I guess it kind of feels like it. <clears throat> I feel like this head doesn't hold the blade as well. But yeah, so but it's working out good. I can, you know, no complaints. Like I said, I just feel like I have a little, maybe a little more blade feel than with uh, other single edges. I don't know if that's just me, but I do like it. I'm not quite positive when this razor is from. I think I did a little research when I got it, but I just can't recall it off the top of my head. <clears throat> uh, the soap is working out pretty well. Sterling is uh, very good. I do like their soaps, uh, very affordable. <clears throat> Picked up both of these for a very fair price, I believe. And I am part of their rewards program. I think I got, uh, I took about $10 off my order too. Use, uh, redeeming some rewards points. So that was pretty uh, helpful. Okay, that's feeling good. So go back for pass number two here. Remember water in the brush. Go back here, agitate a little bit. See, so I feel like I need to go back to the pump. See, I feel like the boar eats up the soap a little bit. That just could be me, but I don't have a ton of experience. I do have a couple others, but I haven't used them a ton. I think I do prefer synthetic, though, to be honest with you. I don't think I can get a <clears throat> super luxurious lather with boar, so I'm just going to do like these painting kind of thing. Just work with that. See, that works for good for me. <clears throat> Second pass against the grain here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yep, uh, we're just trying to keep a low profile here at home. We are going to go out tonight just for dinner, but definitely hard finding some groceries. My fiance went out last night. She said the shelves were barren. And, of course, that's because... We should have gone shopping earlier in the week, but we didn't. I just needed everything. We were out of food, essentially. <clears throat> but she was able to get some extra toilet paper. We have about six rolls or so, I think. We had about five or six. Just like, you know what? Just in case, I'll grab a couple extra 
And she actually got a good, a good price on them. She went to CVS. She had like a six pack of Charmin and two tissues for like two bucks because she had coupons, a ten dollar off coupon or something like that. So hey, that worked out. But we're not like some of these other people that are hoarding like huge amounts. I just don't know. People get a little panicky, and I can understand, but boy, oh boy. Even since the other day, <clears throat> Pennsylvania, where I live, I think quite a few other places are canceling school for two weeks. So that's pretty crazy. I don't like. I don't know what some people do if they have young kids and they work. You know, it's gotta be tough. Because usually, especially like some people, it's like, oh, good, the kid is in school. I can go back to work now, or <clears throat> we're not paying daycare, so I can afford a car now, or something, or whatever. And now it's all of a sudden an added expense. You know, budgeted. It's terrible. But uh, I don't know. I don't have children right now, but I'm sure it's tough. tough thing but I'm sure we will all get through it eventually here Yeah, drama free shave here. Uh, relatively easy here, no problems. Very slick soap. The blade's doing just fine here. The razor is doing just fine as well. <clears throat> of course, it's one of my favorites, these single edges. They're just they're so easy to use, I think. And another thing I like about single edges, <clears throat> see, especially if you want a vintage razor. You can usually find single edge razors much cheaper than an old fat boy or something like that. You can get these probably for 10 bucks all day long, <clears throat> if not cheaper. So that's something to you know, kind of consider. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Just wipe off some of the extra soap that's laying around here. Everything's feeling real good there. Let me just check around the ears. I'm sure I didn't quite get quite everything I wanted. Usually this is just a little one of these. Right up around the ear is tough. Yeah, feeling good. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get under the neck here. I think the cheeks are good for a bit. When I go under the neck, I try to get here and like behind here too. A bit, you know what I mean? Very good shave here so far. Very <clears throat> smooth, effortless, no problems whatsoever. 
It's a good combo, I think. This uh, razor blade and soap. Okay, feeling good. Clear up this here a little bit. Get the excess soap out. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go ahead and apply some of this aftershave here, the Suka aftershave. Oop, didn't get that to focus. There we go. Good. <clears throat> so I'll just go ahead and take a bit here, put it in the hand. That's good, maybe a little more for the neck. Oh yeah, it smells very good. Just like the soap, excellent. No burn, not at all, it's nice. Not a burn at all. Maybe just a little extra for the neck here, a little too much. A little burn in the neck though. Right on the weird spots, right? My hair grows kind of all over. <clears throat> Very nice. And while this is uh, drying down, we'll just go through again what we use for the shave. Okay, so hardware. Where did I put it? There she is. <clears throat> it's this gem shovel head. I thought it did a very nice job. Uh, I always love single edges. Definitely recommend them. The brush. Oops. The brush. Again, it's this 999 shaving uh, brush bore hair. Uh, I like it. It's uh, not quite what I'm used to, but I do like it. The soap in aftershave again. So we have the Suka. So that's uh, based on Hane Mori cologne. There's the soap. That's a three ounce soap in the aftershave. It's a two ounce aftershave from the Black Friday special that uh, Sterling ran. Yeah, so that worked out pretty good, and everything's feeling good. Okay, so that does complete uh, the shave of the day for today. So I did want to say thanks for checking out the video. Definitely do appreciate it. Uh, please like and comment below. I like seeing both, but at least leave a thumbs up on the way out if you would. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. New subscriptions are always appreciated. So again, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.